Hello everyone, welcome back to another video brought to you by webvidtouch.com. This is video 27 in the HTML training series, and in this video we'll be learning about CSS compound styles. So what is compound styling in CSS? Compound styling in CSS allows you to define specific styles within your CSS. Now that's a pretty wide definition right now, there, a broad definition I guess you could say. But um, let me go ahead and start coding this, and then you will get what that means. But basically, it just allows you to define specific styles to under certain conditions. So let's go ahead and coding this, and you'll see what I mean. So when we're in our style, in uh, not inline, but our internal style sheet right here, and let's go ahead and type in div. We're gonna start working with divs a little bit since we learned them in the last video. And then right after that div, we aren't going to put our normal curly braces like that. We're actually going to write dot red. And this is how we are going to use our compound styling. Basically, it's defining certain conditions. Actually, no. Uh, well, here, let me go ahead and start coding this. And then you'll see, like, like I've been saying for the entire video right now, and then we'll add the styling of red to the text right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type a paragraph tag right here. And we're going to give it the class of red since right here we made a class of red, right? And then once we put some text in there, hello there, this is a paragraph. Alright, so the knowledge that we gained from the past videos, we're thinking, hmm, since this is given the class of red right here, then the color of the text should be red, right? Well, not exactly. If you test this, the color of the text is still black, right? Well, that's because this is saying right here that anything that's giving the class of red inside of a div element will be given the color of red. So what it's saying is I have to put this element in here inside of a div in order for this class to even work. So let's go ahead and put this inside of a div. We don't have to get the div a class or anything. I was right the closing div statement. Let's save that. And then when we reopen it, it has red text now. The reason for this is that this is stating that any class that's called red, or any red, anything that has the red class inside of a div will be given this styling right here. So basically you're giving specific orders to only give this styling right here to um, classes that were, are the red classes that are within a div. Pretty simple, huh? It's just a little hard to explain sometimes. And you can do this also with basically anything. I don't have to put the color or the class red right there. I can do div p. So any paragraph tag within a div will be given the color red. So then I don't even have to write this class right here. I can just put that and the styling will automatically be applied. So that's pretty nice right there. Um they can also be they don't have to be just within elements. They can also be within IDs or even other classes. So <coughs> Excuse me. So let's say I want to make a banner. And then I want every paragraph, actually, I want, yeah, I want every paragraph in my banner to have this certain styling right here. I want the color of the text to be blue. I want the font size to be 12 pixels. And I want the font family, whoops, font family, oh, where am I? Font family to be Arial. So that means that. Whenever I have a paragraph element within anything that has the ID of banner, it will be given the stylings right here. So let me go ahead and show this to you real quick. If so I give this div the ID of banner, then what will happen is, since this P element is within this div, then it will execute this little styling right here and give my text the color blue, then I'll make the font size 12 pixels, and it'll give the font family 
change to Arial. Go ahead and test that, and as we said, it changes according to whatever this style right here is. Since it's a P element within, actually, let me tab that out. I like my code specifically, like clean looking and spaced out accordingly, just to make it easier to read. So this is true right here, since this goes along with this right here, and we can don't have to just do it like this, with like two of them, we actually go even deeper, so we have like a span tag. I'm not sure if I explained the span tag yet, but it's basically a tag that you can do pretty much anything with. You can put styles on it. It's basically kind of a blank tag. You can just do, it's like a custom tag, kind of. They can do practically anything with it. So, this right here is saying that any span tag within a paragraph tag within a banner ID with anything with a banner ID will be given the styling right here. So this will no longer no longer get the styling because it's saying not the P tag but the span tag within the P tag right here. So if I put a span tag right here, I'll put around this is a what it's going to do is give everything between these two span tags right here the styling right here since this is what we're defining right here in the style sheet. Let's go ahead and test that and as I said it's giving the color right there and all the stylings. Although this is still taking effect to the text over here because this statement right here is also true too. It's giving the paragraph tag within a div the color red and this is a paragraph within a div. It doesn't matter about this or not so it's going to give the styling to this right here. And that is basically what what a compound styling is in CSS. You're just defining more specific styles to certain conditions that are happening, like this, when the span tag is in a p tag within the banner, something with a banner ID. It's given these characteristics right here, and that's basically what compound styling is. And it's useful for when you start uh, making real-world websites and everything. And that is the end of this video. Hope you guys learned a lot about CSS compound styles. And go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And register as a member on our site at webvidtuts.com. Thank you all for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.